Hello bandits. Thanks to the folks at Gearbox, we're taking a look through their gun-toting fantasy RPG sequel, Remnant 2. This is Gearbox's follow-up to the 2019 title, Remnant from the Ashes. While it still contains some similar features, there are also changes, including a recreated map and breadcrumb system, a revamped UI and HUD, and pushing armor upgrades out for a new mutator system. Of course, there's also a new story and characters which add to its predecessor's world building. Remnant 2 also brings in the archetype system where players can choose to play as the handler, gunslinger, hunter, challenger or healer. These five different character types each come with their own unique abilities and playstyles, and in addition you can make a party with friends or, after some progress, multi-class archetypes. This one has some true action RPG styling, with players progressing through worlds between checkpoints using limited healing and abilities. As you rest at each checkpoint, enemies respawn and provide a challenge as you make your way between story elements and large-scale bosses. Remnant 2 has five different worlds to explore, with three of these open at the start and two unlocked through game progression. Each world and its enemies feel remarkably different and mean that replaying or adding new characters feels very much worth it. Remnant 2 is rated by Peggy at 18 and above and by the ESRB as a mature 17+. There are a few elements at play here, however primary concerns are blood, violence and gore as well as bad language. These are rife throughout the title and while secondary, paranormal and demonic enemies also mean that fear ranks high on the list. Thanks to the power of the internet, your party can also be joined by other players, bringing interaction with others online. Overall, this is definitely one which will not be letting our micro bandits play, and it's not one I'd be comfortable playing around them, making it one that we're saying is for adults only. In terms of accessibility, Remnant 2 is getting a rating of intense. There have been some changes made here to make levels a little easier to navigate, but even on easier difficulties, Remnant 2 is still a solid challenge. Players can alter voice effects and music to make things more audible, and it's good to see pretty widespread controller and keyboard customization options. However, even with these making it easier to see and control, it is definitely not one for those looking for a relaxed experience. And on to the rundown, our 5 point rating for Remnant 2. Gameplay 5 Remnant 2 continues to blend the challenging and rewarding gameplay of Souls-like titles with action RPG gunplay, and I am definitely here for it. With the mix of different archetypes, players will be able to find a role which fits them, and the mix of gunplay with tough, hard-hitting, large-scale enemies works very well. Visuals 5 I've been really impressed with the visuals here, which remain solid throughout gameplay as well as cutscenes. Playing here on PC, I've not noticed any drops in frame rate, even with a lot of things going on, and quality has remained high throughout. Audio 5 the voice acting and effects are really good, but the classical OST is where Remnant 2 really shines. This one has a beautiful score with dramatic music swelling during intense fights. Even characters' vocal callouts don't get too repetitive, and it's just a well put together package all around. Narrative 4 There is a decent little story here, however I would like to have seen some deeper background on characters and a little more world building in our primary world of Ward 13. Things are decent enough though, especially for a game focused mostly on action, but it could have gone a little further to create stronger bonds to NPCs. Replay 5 There are so many things to keep dragging you back into Remnant 2. The multiplayer mode and different archetypes work well to give it a different experience, but outside that, the slightly randomised starting worlds and path also give a reason to hop back in and get involved. While we've sunk considerable time in, there are still puzzles to explore even after you've completed the main story. The more open adventure mode also lets you explore worlds and grab loot that you missed, as well as replay boss fights if that's your kind of thing. Overall, our Pixel Bandits Another Dimension Level 4 Remnant 2 is an outstanding 9 out of 10. This is a really strong showing all round, and while it's not absolutely perfect, it is pretty damn close. Remnant 2 brings some solid gameplay, which improves on Remnant from the Ashes, adding new story and diverse character choices. It's one which you can almost bend to your will, but various difficulty options means it will provide an enjoyable challenge for most players looking for Souls-like gun-toting action. As ever, to provide our review and common sense parents guide, we received free copies of Remnant 2 from the folks at Gearbox Publishing. And that's all we've got for you today. Check out the extended review at pixelbandits.org for more information on this one. If you found this helpful, a like, comment, share or follow might not cost you anything, but it really goes a long way to helping Pixel Bandits remain ad-free and independent. Either way, we hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.